Hello YouTube, welcome to channel, I'm at Bella and today I'm going to be reviewing His Dark Materials episode 5, The Lost Boys. Okay, this is the episode that is clearly 12A territory because you've got the lovely juxtaposition of the Northern Lights story gold, slash Golden Compass story of Lyra going to um, Belvanga, Belvanga. Um, and then you've got Will's story with Will and his mother, who is clearly sort of about 12, 13. Um, I'm loving the fact that you can see them side by side because how I read his Dark Materials was I actually read The Subtle Knife first, then I read Northern Lights, then I read The Amber Sky, Amber Spyglass, um, purely because I found it easier to get in through our world rather than starting in Lyra's world. Anyway, um, it's interesting that Northern Lights is very much a children's book, so you could happily give it to a quite a resilient 10-year-old and just hold their hand as they read the ending. Um, whereas Subtle Knife is far more complex and definitely more abstract. And this is the episode, the fifth episode, really does show that Lyra at this point is still very childlike in her thinking and processing. Um, which would be unusual in an 11 year old girl because most 11 year old girls tend to grow up a little bit quicker but that's partly due to periods starting earlier and various other things and they have to go oh whereas boys it takes them a very very long time to grow up um i really really enjoyed this episode i thought it was good i love the fact that you had the dune reference of we must conquer fear i thought that was good i love the bear the polar bear is so, so bear-like, not cuddly at all, but animalistic, but also true to itself. Um, I'm loving the fact that Lyra thinks she's part bear, so, so childlike. Um, I'm loving the fact that we saw um, a little bit more of the witches. I thought that was really, really well done. And um, their relationship was nicely explored. I think that it's really interesting in Zerafina's um, whole arc and storyline. It is interesting. I'm really, really enjoying the fact that they are doing the subtle knife and the golden compass side by side. I think that's working greatly in its favour. And I think that we're probably going to see the end of the Amber Spyglass in season two. So I think we'll probably be halfway through subtle knife um, by the end of season one. And then we'll do subtle knife and probably half of Amber Spyglass and then season three, possibly maybe Amber Spyglass. That's what I'm thinking um, at the moment. I think it's really, really good what they did in this episode because it is soul crushing what happens to poor Billy Costa. It really is. Um, if you think that's bad, then you haven't seen anything yet. It does get worse from here out. It's not a cute, cuddly story at all. It does get worse and be prepared. So, yeah, so we've, yeah, it was very, very good. I did find it a bit jarring. Um, the fact that you just didn't quite know why she really had to go there. But then again, it's intuition and instinct. And sometimes you've just got to follow it. Um, I thought that was nicely handled. I also think that how they've done Belvanga was really, really well done. And creepy and scary for a children's book. Really, really creepy and scary. Um... It is not for young children, certainly not. Do not give them his dark materials. Also, why is it called his dark materials? Do we know? It kind of is a kind of random um, name, but I'm sure it's not because its main character is a girl, but it's his dark materials. Anyway, um, and another thing, it's probably referencing the soul and essence of being. I'll answer my own question. There we go. Um, another thing that I found interesting in episode four that I forgot to mention was how Mrs. Coulter treats her um, golden monkey demon as she's going into the magisterium to get told off and it goes to touch her hand because it's scared and she bats her soul away um, and I thought that was an interesting point that she's so repressed that her soul is repressed anyway that's just that back to this episode it is depressing very very moving the CGI again was excellent but also where was pan like you never saw him when lyra was like riding the bear so was he in her pocket 
or round her neck as a muffler or a butterfly I don't know and then in some scenes you see him as that nice winter fox thing on the floor um, and then you wouldn't see him so Pan is inconsistent with his CGI <laughs> um, that's just one point but that's so so minor everything else was really well done really well executed um, and seeing how small a group they were to go and fight the Magisterium at Belvanga, the child cutters. Ooh, even the sound of it sounds horrible. The child cutters. There's an alliteration for you. Oof. It is. It's absolutely revolting. Um, yes. But Northern Lights is the most childlike of all his books that he does because you've got the gobblers and it's very mysterious and it's wrapping appears to be oh it's a children's story then you get to subtle knife and you're just like uh this ain't no children's story this is like a young adult story so that's interesting in itself i'm going to leave it there i really really found it very very moving also the cgi of the demons at billy costa's wake slash funeral was um so so moving so so moving i'm not going to dwell on that because i think that's pretty fairly self-explanatory um but yes from here on out it's only going to get worse so hold on to your hats um it is not for young children this dark material certainly not um i really really enjoyed the episode i thought it was really well done good pacing even though it was a little jarring to go from our world then to lyra riding a bear being very sort of childlike and then flipping back yeah it, that that is jarring um, I'm loving the fact that they're spending quite a lot of time there setting the scene, really, really, really giving us the beginning of the subtle knife, to be absolutely honest, whilst the golden compass is happening, which is good use. I, what I really like about His Dark Materials, the series, is the fact that the um, title sequence has the world squidged between each other, so you get the feeling that there's more than one world already, so that kind of sets the scene for what the show's actually going to be about. Look. It's finally healing. Woohoo. Um, so that's good. So, yeah, episode five, it's definitely where it's turning clearly away from a children's story into a more young adult story, as we all knew it would. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please like, comment and subscribe. Yes, it's winter, so there will be several possibly of these bedroom reviews. Oh, I hate doing reviews in my bedroom. Um, yeah, but that's just me personally. So... Please like, comment and subscribe and thank you for the support. Bye.